What's up guys, so this is going to be my first build video. Obviously I've made builds before but never a video on one, so any suggestions on how you'd like me to go through this information in the future is more than welcome. We're going for a crit chance SMG lifesteal build here. This is on the PTS, wanted to give you guys something to get you raid ready, rather than something you might only be able to use in a week or two. So let's get into it. We're using the demolitionist specialization for the underbarrel crit chance modifier, which is a huge part of this build, obviously. On the SMG, I use the T821 for my PvE needs and the Vector for all of my PvP stuff. I just find that the T821 with its larger mag size is the one that I want to be running in the PvE settings. I like to use an assault rifle with it, but you can use an LMG, and I think the LMG might actually be a little bit better. This is just personal preference, so I use the P416. I would recommend the Black Market N60 as your alternative in the LMG category. Sidearm here, not a big deal, I just love the Liberty, so I keep it. My brands here and my gear, one thing I wanted to say is that the brand sets are pretty crap. This is not min-maxed at all, but it stands to the point of how strong this build is going to be when it gets to be perfect when you get all those brand sets synergizing the way they're supposed to. So let's get into those. The mask is middle of the line. It's not great, but it's okay. The brand sets here, you want to run, and I'll put it up on the screen, three of the Providence Defense ones, the one that gives you health and skill power and weapon damage at the end. That way you can actually take benefit of all those things as opposed to Badger Tough and at least one piece of Mirakami because it gives you a plus eight on the health there. Once you get those things, you can start throwing in things like Sokolov or Fenris or something for your LMG that's escaping my mind right now to keep that damage on your weapon up because you're not really going to be specking too much into that. So what we got here is hazard protection, health, and crit chance. The rolls on this are okay at best. The health I could see going a little bit higher and the crit chance as well, but I can't complain too much and hazard protection is something that's nice to have but not necessarily needed. The chest piece here is a big one. Again, brand set, not what we want, but the health rolls here are fantastic. If you see when I take it off, I lose almost 75,000 health, so it's a beast. 7.5% health and 35,000 health only go for these percent health things once you've got a decent amount of health stacked or else they're not doing that much for you. Crit chance here is a decent roll there. Berserk is absolutely 100% what you're going to be running because you're going to be running around without armor a lot with this build if you're using it correctly. This now requires 7 reds on the PTS server so you want to keep in mind your mods. I tend to go for health and stuff like that on my gear and then use my mods to help me get those reds that you really, really need. So other than that, it's a pretty great chest piece. The holster here is, again, middle of the road. That crit chance there could be a lot higher, but it helps me out a lot with my offensive protocols and system mods here so I can get over that red hurdle for the Berserk. Again, brand set needs to be changed there, but other than that, not a bad holster. The backpack here is perfect except one thing, Murakami is great. I love the health rolls. If I take this off, I lose 100,000 health. It's kind of insane. The skill power here does almost nothing for this build at all. That's not what it's meant for. So that needs to be crit chance if you want it to be as effective as it could be. Vital here is perfect. You want that plus 20% health. Get as much of that as you physically can. Tech support doesn't do anything for us here. So you can definitely roll something like efficient or something like that. If you want something else, I definitely would if I was you. The gloves, they are the pinnacle. If you don't have clutch, this build ain't working the way you want it to. Critical hits restore 20% health and repair 1% armor. This is what's going to make you borderline invincible as long as you're throwing bullets down the range. This is the point of this build entirely. Good health roll here, but the brand set is not great. Arialdi's fine for the Vector in PvP, but again, I don't have my Providence and stuff, so that's what I would be going for here. The knee pads are again, kind of meh. Patience is an okay perk, and it's a decent crit chance roll, but it does give me an offensive protocol slot, so it's perfect there. Like I said, this is not min-maxed at all, but it's super effective. On the skills, I tend to run the Crusader Shield right now, because with the auxiliary batteries that we have on the PTS, it actually ends up being decently effective in PvE, and it gets you out of a couple of situations where you're like, I might not be able to heal through that, so pop that thing up, and you definitely will heal through that. The Reviver Hive I will be taking off if they don't put it back the way it was before because they said they raised the time slightly to revive you. I don't know what they meant by slightly, but 15 seconds to me is not slightly, so that one needs to be fixed back the way it was. And I have a feeling it will be, so let's not get too far into that. 
The build itself, as I show you some gameplay in the background here, is fantastic. I love it a lot. It's one of my new favorite solo builds. Something you want to keep in mind, though, is that it's going to take you a second to get used to it. You're going to hear Isaac say critical damage taken a lot, but if you're slinging bullets down range, by the time he even gets that sentence out, you're back up to 100% health. You can heal through things that I never thought I'd be able to heal through, stand there and trade one-on-one -on -one blows with a heavy as long as he doesn't have a minigun, you're probably going to be okay. I didn't really test that, so you might actually be able to survive it, but, you know, to each his own. If you want to give that a shot, then go for it. Another thing is that it takes a little bit of time to get used to the fact that you're going to have to calculate whether or not you can heal through that or not. And you'll be able to tell within the first, I don't know, 15 20 minutes of playing what you can heal through and what you can't so the way i play is to just be the focal point of the enemy's attention while you're playing with a team be right up there right up next to their mouths and shooting as much as you possibly can pick the guy that's got the most health and lay as many bullets into him as you physically can that way you're healing through everything most of the enemies are shooting you and that leaves your high powered teammates in the back with marksman rifles or whatever plinking shots and taking those enemies out for you before you die and honestly you're going to be running around with 100 percent health most of the time anyways so the less armor kits and stuff you use the better because that means the more damage you're going to be doing one thing i wanted to point out before i completely sign off of this video is that the stats this thing is not min maxed at all i'm actually missing crit chance on my smg even so that's not what you want there but as you can see in the video it is extremely effective at taking out enemies and trading blows with them even on a challenge level mission so i love this build a lot any suggestions that you have for this build please leave me a comment down below if you have any ideas like this video it really does help me out a lot subscribe to the channel for future division 2 content with that guys i'll see you in the next video have a good one